I just really need to get my head around the fact that it is not a bowl of onions. The world is your fritter, folks. <laughs> Everybody. Hello. Hello, Mrs. B. Hi. High five. She's my wife. Uh, welcome to today's video. It's got a bit of a narrative. The other day, we went on a day trip down to Cornwall, which is a very broad range of saying where we went, but it's a nice place down in the south of England. And on the way, we had a cheeky little road trip where Mrs. B was still participating in Lent. She couldn't have a chocolate coated naughty treat for breakfast, aka a donut. No. But what did you opt for? An apple fritter. An apple fritter? Yeah, and it was a bit. It did, I did. Bit weird, it didn't even taste like it had apple in it. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't very nice. Mrs. B puts it, she's like, Should this have apple in it? It's an apple fritter up for the make up for my lack of chocolatiness in the last mm, 40 days. Turns out, apple fritters do actually contain apple within the dough that you fry for a donut. Except for a fritter, you just kind of chuck it in and make a mess and drench it with the apple in as it fries in icing sugar. Oh, right, and you haven't even got to prove it like dough. Oh, it's a very early start. So the aim of today's video, while Mrs. B walks our pugs, my aim is to make these donuts while Mrs. B takes them. Can you go for like 40 minutes? It'd be fine by me. Brilliant. Or okay. not come back at all. All right. <laughs> Better. <laughs> so during that time, I'm going to try and make some homemade apple fritters for you, okay? Mm -hmm. And you're going to come back and they'll be ready for you, just like our road trip except we're staying here. Okay. For some context, it is actually quite early. Normally, I would start filming about 9 o'clock, but it's quarter to 8 in the morning. It was so early, I got to the supermarket and like one of those sad people just before it opened. It was like, you know that film Jingle All The Way, everyone fighting to get in and get parsnips. It's crazy. I think, well, were people like that? Yeah. It's very passionate in the fruit and veg aisle. It's the first thing, isn't it? Fruit and veg is always the first in the supermarket. Is that a tactical thing? Yeah, I'd imagine so. Right, th right then, my old fruit. Could you do me a favour and go walk Le Chiennes, please? Yeah. S'il vous plaît. And je vais uh, manger le pomme de fritter. That sounds impressive. Whatever that, you just that said. <laughs> Pom is apple, I know that. Right, translation, you can walk the dogs will. and I will get going. This should be fairly hassle free and hopefully super stonking. Walkies! Walkies! Come on! Walkies, let's go! Right, so this is the cool thing today. As I say, when we make donuts before, we made some absolutely epic donuts last year, but we had to wait to prove the dough. This, you kind of shove it in and embrace the messiness. I actually have a theory in life when it comes to baking things and like anything sweet with icing sugar on, no matter how bad it looks, if you drench it with icing sugar, you get away with it. All right, so first up, this is a bowl with some plain flour in it. We're gonna add in some baking powder, which is hopefully gonna help do some crazy sort of fritter random shapes when we fry it. This is some cinnamon, and we're gonna add in just over half a teaspoon. And we're gonna add in a pinch of salt. And if you look from this wide shot here, you can see this is all the other ingredients we need. This is how simple this recipe actually is. Apple, we'll come on to that in a minute. Come on, let's get back. Okay, so we've got those four ingredients in there and we can just, I, mean, I don't know if this is really essential. It's like when you make a cake and you separate the wet and the dry. I mean, does it all really matter? You're gonna do one big mix anyway. We can just leave that to one side. Do you know what? I think I'm actually gonna end up with a bit more than 40 minutes because I just looked around. You're supposed to be going on a walk, young lady. <laughs> You're in control, aren't you? Big old bowl, this is the hub where it's all gonna come together. In goes the sugar. One egg. Two eggs. And just after I crack that second egg, I just see Mrs. B carry a pug <laughs> in the distance. So they're literally just left now. I think this is gonna be pretty good for time. Yeah, that'll do, nothing crazy, couple of minutes. See how it's slightly lighter and a bit foamy? That is perfect, the sugar's dissolved in though. Half of the flour mixture now. We can scale this recipe up if you want. This shouldn't make too many, to be honest. Amazing. And now the other half. Nice. And then we're gonna add our milk in two batches. Lovely jubbly. First bit. This takes a little bit for it to combine. You think, oh my gosh, it's not gonna go. Like that, look. Oh, you think you've just sort of made a weird like milky lake. Just let it slowly take its time. It'll be like, oh, all right. I'll join the batter party. Okay, so that is where our batter, oh no, it should be called dough, shouldn't it? Donuts, dough. That is where our dough is at. And if you leave it a little bit to kind of aerate, is that the word? I don't know. It will become slightly stiffer so we can get some good dollops as we cook them. But we do need uh, some apples. This is a lemon. 
But if you put a little bit of uh, lemon juice or lime in a bowl, we're not gonna use all of that. It'll add a teeny bit of flavor, but we'll pour the rest of it away. But the purpose of that is to stop the apples from discoloring, which we're gonna peel and core now. There we go, course them. Hey, uh, just slice these up into nice little bite-sized chunks. I mean, I guess you could grate it if you wanted as well. That would be even easier, but they'd be really fine. I want some nice chunks in there, you know? Hmm. It'd be more subtle though, and then maybe that's what the upmarket donut place did. Didn't pass Mrs. B's test though. So they kind of look a bit more like diced onions. In fact, <laughs> that would be an amazing prank. But that's just two green apples, uh, Granny Smith here in the UK, but I suppose you could use any apple you want. In fact, maybe that place where we bought it from didn't use any at all. You could go to town on this, you could do like a pear filling, you could do other fruits, you could do blueberry, you could do pineapple, and then do like maybe like a coconut icing. <gasps> if anyone does that, send me a photo. So in it goes with that lemon juice. It's gonna stop it discoloring, but also add a little cheeky lemon zing, which I'm gonna add to the icing as well. I just really need to get my head around the fact that it is not a bowl of onions. So here we go, the apples. They're not onions, Barry, they're not onions. We just fold it through and make sure it's fully coated in that batter. So there we go, nice and folded through. If you wanted to now, you could actually freeze that for another day. But of course, I'm getting going straight away because my kitchen timer today is not a clock, it's in the form of two pugs and a very hungry Mrs. B. Let's go. Okay, so we're waiting for the oil to warm up. Um, if I was in a rush, I could have got that going whilst we're making the batter. I did have head whisk ready for the batter making, but as it was, a ham whisk and some spatulas worked just uh, fine enough. Someone said the other day about head whisk, oh, it's really cool how I've called in that. But then when I put prongs into it like that, I'm sort of piercing its eyes, we're turning it into like huge eyelashes or something, which I can't unsee now. Um, but I think I'm gonna stick with head whisk. I, I do like it. Side note though, if you are ever looking for a new electric whisk, try and get one with dough hooks because it really does help when we've done it in the past, making breads and pizza bases and other cakes and other batters. Such a lifesaver, really, really cool. This is my first time making a fritter, but that kind of goes against it. You just kind of like just blob it in. And I love that laziness, like no yeast or anything. Let's just fry some batter and what it looks like, it looks like. I'm not gonna Google this, but whenever I have in the past, like oh, how did that name come about, fritter? It's kind of like some chef called Joseph Fritter years ago, who had some surplus donut batter left over. So he just shoved it in the fryer and created the fritter. That is probably a lie. But I'd believe it, you can believe a lot of stuff on the internet. Oil's getting to 180C, I've got some kitchen towel ready, I've got um, a nice shot of shovel, this big spoon without slots in it for uh, the portions. And then once it's frying in there, a nice big long set of tongs so I can turn it over and then we'll rest it on the towel. Boom chicka wow wow. All right, here we go, it's quite rigid. I'm gonna try and get three out of it and I'm gonna use a spoon this time to help push it in. And maybe I could do a diddy one. Why does that smell of fish? Oh my gosh, look at that color. <gasps> Looks like a big puffer fish. Fry them until they're nice and golden, but not until they're just like, oh, they're gold. Push it a little bit longer to make sure the insides get cooked through. We don't want it warm and gooey and raw, okay? I decided not to waste my batter, so I've still got a few others that need to cook a bit longer, but that, oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> I love how much they puffed up, that's amazing. Oh, they smell phenomenal, and little chunks of the apple on the surface. Ah, I'm just finishing off the spare bit of dough that I had, then we'll make a lemon icing. Well, Pat, Rose, I'm a little bit concerned. We've made the donuts, and I've just got to make me icing, and they, I think they've just, <laughs> I wonder if they've gone for like a cooked breakfast somewhere in a cafe, brilliant. I bet Boston would love that. So for that, some icing sugar, a little bit of vanilla extract, and the juice of, this is the half lemon that we had left. I'm gonna go for half of the half lemon. So, a quarter. So we can add slowly bits of water, okay? Nice and smooth as a baby's bottom for our fritter. You're back. Where have you been? Had a nice walkies. Yeah. Can you just say what you just said when you? I didn't get it on camera. Sorry. I went. No way. She went, no way. You're, You're almost no done. Yeah. The look. It never happens. It's 
going on? I'm just about to drench it in a lemon icing right. and then, you sure you didn't go to a cafe? No, we just took our time and then Amy just kept sitting down because you weren't with us. She, just she does that. Sitting. If I'm not with her, she barks or just refuses to walk. And then I went back to get her and then she was I'm like... talking about Amy, not... Sorry. Thanks, Amy. You gave me a bit more time, mate. It helped. Well, it does look a little bit like fried chicken, but that is not a bad thing, folks. I'm just going to drizzle a load on like that, nice and messy. And like I said, it's a fairly ugly looking thing, which is all the bumps and nobbles from the fritter and the apple. But then you put icing sugar on it and all of a sudden it looks like a, a masterpiece. After all this, they could taste horrendous. I have no idea. <laughs> Look at that, folks. What a stonker. They're so soft as well. Ah! Oh. oh, here we go, folks. Oh my gosh. This feels deceptively naughty. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh! That is fluffy. Wow. Zingy. Mm. You can taste all the mm. apple and it's really nice. Mm. Me too, you've got all the apples going through it in the dough, it's really That's nice. incredible. Mm. It's like worked really, really well. I kind of like this recipe with like an unofficial timer. I did have an idea once for a video of a McMuffin race where Mrs. B went to the local drive through tried to get a McMuffin in the time it took me to make one. Mm. But I think the conclusion to this one is you can actually see the apple. Mm. Can you taste it? Can I have another one? Yeah. Yeah, go on, mate. They are really Let's nice. Let's go for a big run. That's what they're meant to be like. Yeah, I mean, I guess like the fritter, the lumps, and you get that random shape is, yeah. is the apple chunks. Mm. But 100%, when you had that one at the motorway services, it like there was no apple in it. Maybe it was dehydrated apple? Mm. But that's fresh. And you can really taste the lemon icing. You could have done with a little mm. dunking pot of extra oh, icing. I think I've got that actually. Oh. This is like actual heaven for you guys. That was so simple to make. It feels like kind of like a lazy man's donut. But I loved it. Mm. And genuinely, I was done without the camera 100%. But by the time that you walked the dogs, not that you left on time. What do you mean on time? All I saw was you walking off with a pug going, <laughs> absolutely nailed it. So for like a, a cheeky little breakfast, get out of jail thing, mm. like I say, freeze the dough ahead of time as well. Stonking. Give it a go. Mix up the fillings, mix up the flavour in the icing. Oh Send me a photo if you try it. I just realised the icing tastes like a lemon drizzle cake. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Mix it up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and make sure your notifications are turned on. Any recipe suggestions, let me know. And, well, I'll leave you guys to it. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. L-O-V-E is how you spell food. Gonna make some truffles to get you in the mood. To me, your support is smooth as silk. When I have my cereal, I pour on milk. If you got a food mixer, so give it a whirl. I gotta let you know I'm still cooking in love with you, girl. Just like we planned, guys. Thank you for taking your time on the walk, yeah? Good stuff. I love how they found a sun trap. <laughs> Do you want some donut? You can have a dog nut, alright? <laughs>